Hussein Kayanjo, Biography, Family, Age and Work of a Ugandan Politician. Who is Hussein Kayanjo? Tower Rays looks at his biography, age, early life, wife, education, family, relationship with Sumya Kayanjo, Kibir Ijma Yinja, Poison Claims, Suffering from Colon Cancer, Dystonia, Member of Parliament for Mac and I West, Work and Experience of One of the Founding Members of Justice Forum, Jima. Hussein Kayanjo is a Ugandan politician, businessman, and one of the founders of Justice Forum, Jima, a political party based in Uganda. He served as the Member of Parliament for Mac and I West for two terms that's 2006 to 2011 then 2011 to 2016. At the time he joined Parliament, he promised to only serve for two terms and return to his private businesses and indeed he lived up to his promise. He narrates that one of the factors that made him a good legislator is avid reading. Kai Anjo read a lot of literature extensively and this widened his knowledge and understanding as regards leadership and governance. He used to read the materials stocked at Parliament. Early Life and Education Hussein Kai Anjo was born in Tauma, Komanzimbi district in 1960 to Hajji Silliman Zairaba Musa Aljakana and Mariam Nabima. He is the seventh born in a family of ten children. Kai Anjo attended Ntoma Primary School in Pkomanzimbi, Bial Islamic School Boys, a Kampala city suburb from where he attained Islamic education, Mada Arasa, Mbalaira Primary School, Kako Primary School where he received his primary leaving examination certificate in 1975, and then Masaka Secondary School from where he received both his O and A level certificates. Thereafter, in 1983, Kayanjo joined May Career University graduating with a degree in Industrial and Fine Art. Politics Before joining politics Hussein Kayanjo worked as a graphics designer in a self-owned entity including supplying printing materials till he was voted into Parliament in 2006 to serve as the MP for Mac and I East Constituency Kampala City Division. Kai Anjo's first encounter with elective politics was in 2001, as the Mac and I MP, but lost the race to use Yuf and Sambu. However, he returned in 2006 where he achieved victory as the Mac and I West legislator. Kai Anjo was Jima's spokesperson and a campaign manager of Jima's presidential candidate, Kibir Ijma Yinja in 2001. His politics were leadership fair play not the politics of gaining and he was an advocate for justice for the oppressed Ugandans. He as well served as a news anchor for the Muslim community in the 80s and 90s at Nakasero Tablike Mosque delegated by the Amir Dawashik Yunus Kamaga. Kai Anjo's role was to seek vital news in and outside Uganda in relation to Islam and present them during prayer hours. While at Parliament, Kayanjo served as a shadow minister in charge of the presidency. He was one of the sounding legislators in the 8th and 9th Parliament. He also served as a member of the Defence Committee at Parliament. He was one of the dedicated legislators that played a visible role in the heated oil bribery claims that rocked Parliament at the turn of 2011. Kai Anjo was a very popular panelist in the band Open Air Live broadcast radio debates titled by Misa. During his time at Parliament, he was the only legislator representing the Justice Forum, Jima, one of the vicious opposition figures and very uncompromising legislator. As a legislator, Kai Anjo says he received various pieces of training on conduct as an MP including searching for a skilled and experienced legislator Emmanuel Pendo who shaped him on how to deal with anger and the press. He as well made efforts to visit the House of Commons where he met Jack Straw who also trained him. One of his precious moments at Parliament was the time he maintained his position when the government of Uganda desired to sell off Mabira Forest. He and other legislators stood their ground against selling off Mabira. He led various demonstrations that landed him at Luzira prison. However, he does not regret what happened to him because it paid him much, Mabira Forest was spared. Also, Kayanjo fought against army representation in parliament coming from one region of Uganda. 
he sought balance for all regions in the country. Nevertheless, Kai Anjo is still very instrumental in the struggle for good governance in Uganda, an outstanding politician always referred to as the refined African politician. Kai Anjo is one of the politicians who broadly criticized President Yaori Kaguta Museveni without fear. In 1996, Kai Anjo was appointed by the American Embassy, American Council for Young Political Leaders, a CIPL, to be one of the election observers of USA elections that propelled Bill Clinton to power for the second term. This was the time he joined politics after starting a political party named Justice Forum, Jima, alongside Imam Ghassizi, Omar Kel Njiango and Muhammad Kibirai Jma Yinja. Health State Hussein Kayanjo is currently sick suffering from colon cancer, stage 4. However, before, he was diagnosed with dystonia at an Iranian-owned hospital in Dubai after several hospitals failed to determine his condition, a disease that affected his speech center. He could hardly speak and today he uses a speech aid to help him speak. According to Kai Anjo, dystonia is a result of poison he believes he ate in Kampala but cannot figure out the exact place. His condition began while in Johannesburg, South Africa in 2011 where he and his colleagues in the 9th Parliament had gone for a visit. This was the time he released that he could not speak clearly, associated with difficulty breathing family. Hussein Kayanjo is a married man with six children. He married his first wife while still a student at Masaka Secondary School, then in 2007, he married a second wife Sumya Kayanjo. Unfortunately, she passed on recently. Kayanjo wants to be remembered as an honest man, respectful and consistent person.